YouTube family, it's your girl Lorraine Yvonne, and I'm back with another video. So, as you've seen by that title, and for my special special guest, that um, I have my baby. This video is about my labor and delivery story. If you would like to hear about my story, may make sure you watching the video. But also, before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, tell them. So like, comment, subscribe to mommy's channel. Let's get into this video. September 30th, I went into the hospital because I was having abdominal pain. So I just wanted to make sure that uh, she was okay and everything was fine, which it was. And I was only one centimeter dilated. So, you know, they just sent me home. So October 8th and I was normal day, woke up. Everything was great. Everything was fine. Just chilling still big and pregnant and I go to my mom's house and I go over there because she got a new place so I go over there and help out and stuff and just hang out with my family and we we made burgers and french fries so we're eating and stuff and then I came home my boyfriend got off work and he picked us up and we went home now he went out somewhere for a second because he had to go do something so I was like well I'm gonna give my kids a bath uh they smell like grease you know from frying the french fries so I was like, let me get them a bath before we go to sleep. So I give my son a bath. I get the water running and everything, and I give my son a bath. So while I'm giving him a bath, I had to keep peeing. So I was like, well, let me get the toys right there. So I just kept getting up to pee, and it was, and I was really peeing. So I'm, I didn't think nothing of it because I drink a lot of water all day, every day. So I was like, maybe it's just me peeing. And plus, my daughter was really low, so. She was sitting on my gallbladder, so I was like, well, I definitely have to pee now. Um, but then I got up to, like, do something, and, like, literally, I just kept, like, just, just kept going. It was to the point where, like, I literally went through seven to eight pairs of underwear just trying to figure out what is going on, because I, my water never broke like that, like, my water broke a little bit before, but then they broke it the rest. But I was a little worried, to be honest. I mean, I figured I was in, like, I was in, then my water broke, but I didn't have no contractions. Like, I didn't have, I didn't, well, I didn't feel any of my contractions. Um, I called the nurse, like, you can have, a like, a line to call, like, your doctor's place. And they transferred you to a nurse, so I transferred them. They transferred me to a nurse. Nurse called me back. And I told her what's happening, and I said, yeah, I just went through seven to eight pairs of underwear. And she was like, okay. She was like, how many weeks are you? I told her, I'm 39 weeks. And then she was like, okay, well, how far are you from the hospital? I told her how far I was. She was like, well, make your way to the hospital. I said, okay. So I'm like, yeah, we got some action because they're not going to tell me to make my way to the hospital if, you know, I can just sit at home and wait. But then I knew that my water was breaking. So I literally had to put on... I had to put a wash rag, then underwear, then sweatpants, and a towel. Because that's how much was coming out. So, uh, we go, we get everything together. We get all the bags together. The bag is already packed, you guys, you already know. If you haven't watched my, uh, it's in my hospital bag, go click that link in the description box that is there. But yeah, so we packed everything in the bag, and we left. We went to go drop, first we dropped our two kids off. And with their grandparents, and then we went to the hospital. So we get to the hospital now. Still, mind you, this is still October eighth. We get to the hospital. They, um, I went to, I went to labor and delivery, and then they already had my name there. So most likely, they, the nurse called, told that I was on my way, and then my water broke. So they, we got there, told him my name. My boyfriend told him his name, gave him his ID, so he can get that visitor pass, so he can come back through me. So then we go back, they weigh me first, and then we go into the room. Now, we go into the room, we're in the room, they take all my clothes off and put on this, like, garment and get in the bed. So 
I get into the bed and they hook up these monitors on my stomach. One monitor is to uh, listen to her heartbeat to make sure her heart rate stays the same or if it gets faster, it gets lower, just so they know. And they put another one on me to, to measure my contractions, um, which I thought I wasn't having, but I was. So the nurse came in and she was telling me like, okay, this is what we're going to do. So the first they came in with the doctor and he took a swab test just to make sure that it was amniotic fluid, meaning that my water broke and it wasn't me peeing. But the doctor already told me the way that I was describing to him how it was that he knew that my water didn't break. So they took that and then they came back and said, yep, your water broke. So you're staying. I was three centimeters dilated at that time. And they gave me some type of IV to help my contractions get closer and stronger so that I can get more dilated and then I can push. Um, so they gave me that and then literally not even five to ten minutes, my contractions literally just started. Um, if you hear anything in the background, it's my other daughter because she decided she wanted to be in the room with me. But yeah, so, um, so yep, yeah, my contractions started and they were hella strong and horrible but i literally jumped from three to five centimeters then i went from five centimeters to eight centimeters and then after that they sat me up like they propped the bed up so it could sit like a chair almost so it was like this and i was sitting like right here so just to help her push down and literally when they did that, like, it was time to go. I was like, yeah, she's right there and I have to push up because I feel like I'm about to push her out every time I have a contraction. So they was like, all right, well, let's let's get it. Let's go. So they got everything and they got the doctors in the room and they were ready. They had me lay down and, you know, prop my feet up. I had to literally play tug of war with the nurse. So she had a towel. She, like, tied it and she told me to pull but push also. So that really helped out. Oh get uh her down and then next you know at 4 34 a.m on october 9th my daughter madison was born um so we went in uh, on october 8th and she came out october 9th and i went into labor at 9 30 p.m and i had her at 4 34 so seven hours i was in labor and I didn't have no epidural, all natural. Um, but it was no point for me to get epidural because my contractions were going so fast. So I was like, I'm not going to get epidural because there's no point in me getting it because she's going to be here real soon. But yeah, so that's the my labor and delivery story. And now it's time to meet this beautiful, 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 beautiful baby girl. Here's Madison. Hi. Say hello, Madison. Hello. She's not going to open her eyes. <laughs> but that's my daughter. She is a really, really good baby, you guys. Like, guys, that's my labor and delivery story. If you love this story, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. They don't love you like I love you Slow down, they don't love you like I love you